I guess we've been doing it all our lives. Our parents dressed us up alike when we couldn't dress ourselves. But like when we could, they made it clear that we didn't have to. Dressing alike was something that we felt comfortable with. And so there was a moment in high school when we decided um, maybe we shouldn't dress alike and we tried the whole um, individuation thing. We just didn't like it. It wasn't us. We felt like we weren't being ourselves. We just felt like one half of someone. Because we do have such similar tastes and clothes and style that we were always fighting anyway. <laughs> it was more like, well, why do you get to wear that? I want to wear that too. So we just buy two of everything. And we just feel a lot more comfortable with it that way. So we work at um, a startup called freshmansupport.com. And what they basically do is help um, incoming freshmen know everything they need to know about going to college. So you can find out information about dorms, your chances of getting in. There's even a roommate matcher. And what we do is we manage about 80 community managers across the country. Our community managers are college students at different universities who basically blog, tweet, post, and make day in the life of videos um, about their lives um, on campus. That way, um, incoming freshmen and parents um, can really get a feel for what right. campus life is like. So our friends are pretty cool with it. Thankfully we have all of the same friends. Yeah, at first, like of course a ton of like our friends will ask us, like, why do you do this? And uh, like how does one pick out the clothes or do you magically just come out of the closet wearing the same thing? They get used to it really, really quickly and I mean once you get to know us, like there's clear differences um, physically and personality wise. So with guys, I mean this is something that everybody's curious about. I don't feel like we've ever like hindered each other or limited each other in um, dating. Um, thankfully right now it's never been too much of a big deal because we are really focused on school and, and our future careers. careers. But um, we understand that with dating, um, having a relationship with someone else won't affect our relationship. We are capable of you know, having another relationship with someone else and still keeping our bond so close. I think with guys on their end, we've heard that we're intimidating because we're, we're in a pair all the time, and so... It might be harder to get one alone or, like, choose. choose. <laughs> we've heard, like, how do I choose between between one of you without hurting the other? Or, like, I mean, you all are so similar, what's... I mean, why what should I, I have to do? choose? Yeah, why should <laughs> I have to choose? <laughs> Something silly like that. Um, so that's always kind of funny. So, I mean, we've definitely talked about like when when we should stop, stop. and if there is a stopping point. point. It could be in the near future. I feel like once we get out of college, college it might not be so socially really acceptable. acceptable. I think we would stop if it was preventing the other one from um, an opportunity. Exactly. Um, we don't want to hold each other back yeah. that way. Well, yeah, we do have a ton of stuff going on all the time with school and work and our social lives, things that might seem Kind of crazy to other people, like like going into business together and starting a PR firm together. But it's kind of risky and scary, but we know that we're in it together. So when the Daily Texan wrote about it, they gave us a chance to really explain ourselves, especially to people who don't understand us or who never um, either come up to us in our classes and always like want to ask these questions but may not feel comfortable. And then Cosmo picked it up, which is really cool because Cosmo's Cosmo. <laughs> it's been fun just to like have the opportunity to explain to all these different people why we do what we do. Thanks, Cosmo. Thanks, Cosmo.